We know that climate crisis is here, but if we are not proactive, we're going to constantly be reacting to supply chain snarls, to road closures, to floods, to extreme droughts, to too much rain. Those parts will absolutely have impact on our food prices. My work contributes in terms of looking at food, food prices, food supply chains, what's impacting these costs, what innovations can be put in place to make them lower in terms of environmental impact. The cost of transitioning is high. Agriculture producers, they are in a market-driven marketplace, as in the market defines their prices. If they are looking at trying new energy sources, solar and wind, switching to new varieties, investing in sensors or in drones or in flood control, any of those new irrigation type of systems, those are costly. I think that it's very difficult to depend on primary producers, small to medium, even large businesses to do that. There are incentives in terms of instruction or infrastructure that we can invest in, research stations that are providing drought resistance to varieties, whether they be right across Canada, the different things that we're growing, innovations towards new sensor machines, GIS systems that can monitor water and soil, you put these innovations in front of these businesses and they'll say, of course I'm going to do it. They'll pick those up and the benefit will be for them because they will maintain their profit or increase their profit. The benefit for us is that we get high quality food, but also we're making a decrease in terms of the environmental impact. That's exciting. As an economist, I say I understand that the market is important. But we really have relied a lot on terms of private sector for these innovation. This is a time for the government to step ahead and to actually invest in these innovations that we know will make a high impact. What can we as consumers do to take action? Research these companies. What actually are they doing for sustainability? Are they greenwashing? Are they doing some true impact? And buying those products that are in line with our values of sustainability and decreased environmental impact is if we are buying in that way, that will shift that supply chain and influence that supply chain and the people who are in there to products that are more sustainable.